mutual minionhood you suggest? Well, I do suppose it would be a waste to not have someone so willing to contribute. Suppose it would squander potential. It's just security on my end. First and foremost, I brought you back because... the one to crush you, not some nameless monster. We shall see, you serper. Footstool. I suppose I won't! Conceding already? No, I really cannot! These have been demolished! I'll lead for now. Looks like I'm already ahead of you at the least. Sorry I couldn't watch them, but I figured priorities went elsewhere. It's still here, but keep it slow and don't go too far into any halls. Usurper, do you understand? This is why I have taken this very role. To prevent those who embrace this world their way from ending like this. To keep their flames of life burning. Yeah, I want it to stop. Gina fills or not. Stick close. It seems mad as hell. Still seems in working order. Something I noticed as the horror attacked me. Its SP bulbs looked as if they had deflected my anti SP pulse rounds. With how brutish that thing is, I doubt we will get a chance to see what is happening. I'll see what I can do to hold it back.
has a hard time going anywhere but forward, I'm seeing. Also, I smell sewage. I only smell a foul, cheesy musk. It's not you, Lucifer. Exactly. No, no. I was just reminded of that one time Vit got that pizza. Besides, this is not the situation for it. to have developed some sort of solid eyelids. I think it found another target. It seems much too easily distracted. Perhaps we can use that advantageously. If only the air were not so rife with sewage, I'd be able to plan accordingly.
Hey, hey. I heard shouting, so I thought uh, here would be sort of safe. Why the hell could you possibly be here, you clucking nuisance? I was assigned a big, big catering job. Probably too big now. Ugh, thanks for saving my butt a bit back there, though. I think that was you guys. Well, I would hate to break such news to Vit. Although, your demise would spur her on the job even more. Hey, hey! I may have a boring life, but you shouldn't kill me off like that! <sighs> no, I would not. I may strongly disagree with your profession, but you have your uses. I would hate for any potential you have to burn away. someone would say after experiencing character development. You are giving me second thoughts, Birdbrain. Anyway, anyway. Glad you guys are here. Otherwise, things would be entirely screwed over. Progressing, that may very well be the case if we do not figure out how to dig into that menace's SP bulbs. I think if we catch it as it tries to change course, I should be able to pry those eyelids open. Diving away at an intersection might be the trick. Gives me room to counter while it fixes itself up. You could distract it as well. Two targets going in different directions may disorient it for a few extra seconds. Hey, hey! I can't just sit here. Maybe I can figure out a way to confuse it too. I doubt it could understand your nonsense, and perhaps it should be thankful. Either way, it's probably better for you to remain here. <sighs> Gotta agree. Even if you've got a two-legged backup plan, can't let any more be added to the dead head count. It's a couple hallways away, toward where I'm facing. All right, you take the lead. You quickly fit your new namesake, you server. Stealing my role already? You're not wasting any time adjusting to footstool status. Better to start on such things early, wouldn't you say? You take that side, I'll draw it over here. Just in case it tries anything, I'll keep an eye out. Leader and bait? Make up your mind. <sighs> Just get to it, damn it.
could change the rules on us! We have been at this for a while now! That is how the Genophils operate! Mutual minionhood's not enough, we're screwed! I'd hate to step in that, too. Look, you made me do this! What, what I, I remember, remember making, making you do you is do staying in place! place! Whatever, whatever. It was cool to see you guys in action. And because of me, I'm gonna keep seeing it. Suppose even a footstool was right about this chicken scratch having uses. Thanks, Pizan. I hate to admit it, but you are correct about me being correct. Remember, remember, you're gonna owe me for the lifesaver pies. We are not! Going to have a back and forth on owing. I will not accept greased up sewage as currency in any lifetime. You did it! You, you killed the thing and got out. I, I, I was panicked as heck.
<laughs> Why the E Dancer CK are you here? Well, well, I was just here to deliver the refreshment. I delivered them. And you guys look pretty refreshed. Uh, not the Salio Sapien gal, though. Well, what's up? Never mind the Genophil killing them before it did. I'm just astounded that they got out without killing each other. Yes, that's good. Well done, Mr. Godwin and Chris. Indeed, as expected of me, the threat was handled before too much of the Beacon 27 management complex was destroyed. All you did was nearly keel over and shoot a couple things. <sighs> of course, they're the same as ever. Considering they made it out, I wouldn't be so sure. Step by step, Amelia. Hey, hey, Vit. How'd you not know I was cooped up in there? I texted you lots and everything. Yep, it goes back to that one word. Oh, must have had it on silent by accident. Oh, I just forgot my phone. I can't even look up that one word. Even if you did bring it, I would shut your mouth before you got the chance to utter it. Oh, oh, are you talking about... It's probably for the best. Eh, <sighs> anyway... You don't seem too peeved about that Genophil making a mess of things, Hem. Got something else on your mind? True, the damages are sizable, and casualties horrible. It's astonishing, the damage the Genophils can cause when left unchecked. Yes, the Genophils must be handled properly. You are all the ones who can and must. As for the facility itself, renovations were due regardless. They shouldn't take long to complete, at the very least. Exterminators! 
Remember that you are what stands in between humans and any threat the Genophils present. I will continue to keep an eye on your progression and keep you updated. As for more specific assignments... I have my doubts that the Genophil at attack today was mere happenstance. Once that detection machine you are developing has been completed, please let us know. I'm sure it'd help with any possible anomalies. Yes, ma'am! Another point for me. How comfy are you, footstool? Please, don't worry about not being able to deliver. I'll compensate you for the stress. I'm just sorry you had to go through that danger. Um... Just call me Pizon. Besides, you weren't responsible for any harm to the delivery. Whoa, hey. Aren't you that badass Margaret Hemsworth? Haha, <laughs> can't believe such a big shot would bother chatting up someone as lowly as me. I don't see why our occupation should put a barrier between any interactions. On a similar note... You're right, Tina. That is an appropriate thing to call him. I'm guessing they're frequent customers. Yep, yep. I actually just bit. Could you check in here and there to make sure things are going well for them? Huh? Huh? I I'm sure they're danger prone and all. Saw a bit of it today. But you want me to report any bumps or scratches they get? I don't mean in that way. Actually, the usurper's plans were foiled when the Genophil...
Hey, Chris, you still in deep focus in there? Yeah, I'm still into it. Aw, uh, okay. I'll just head back. Wait, though! Did you need help with something? Well, nothing particular. I just was curious if you still wanted to continue hanging from where we left off earlier. Oh, was that it? Don't you have to keep helping out at your place? Things are a lot slower, thankfully. It's a relief for once, especially after... Yeah, I know. Sorry to worry you again. I'm not intent on letting a genophil or two take me down. Not even the footstool, either. That's my job. What, did I say something weird? What happened up in there, Tina? I still have no respect for that scum. All I'm doing is proving at any given moment that he's the foot fool. Fine, fine, I'll take your word for it. Did I catch you when you were pretty much already done? Nellie. I can make it through all this. I know I can. But with the genophils, anything can happen. I just thought they were dumb pests and I went along with things to fund my passions. Vit almost died last week. Myself and the footstool were almost killed today, even. I didn't want to worry you even harder. I just can't keep this in, though. If things went my way, we wouldn't have to worry about getting ripped up or crushed by these things or whatever else or sick, or degenerated, and so on. How the 
hell do you bear with people around you dying or nearly doing so basically every day? I want to make the pain stop so much. Even I don't know. I don't want to say I've become numb to it or anything, but... Nellie, haven't you ever wanted to turn away from all this? You have so many things you're shouldering. Your folks, Vit, the footstool. I know they've been a part of your life for so long and that you love them, but it's so much to shoulder. Why do you keep taking on more and more? You've even felt obligated to take up the most useless heaps. Nobody I help is worthless. You know that. You're just saying that because you feel awful for the worst one of us all. Chris, what? Please stop. Please stop. I know from the day I was born, I've been nothing but a burden on you and Vit. My existence has been nothing but a mess for you all. And since then, you've taken my life as an obligation. It's your nature to help anyone that needs it. All my life, just a weight on your shoulders. Nowhere to go. And just because you can't let me go, I... Chris, I know my words alone can't make you feel otherwise. But you have something burning within you. Whether how you were made influenced that, it doesn't matter. Here's what you have to remember, though. If you've been feeling this way this whole time, the only one that's been trying to put out that fire is you. It doesn't matter how much weight I shoulder. Everyone I care about has something special to them. I'm confident that you'll realize that even if something within you is preventing it. You're still burning. Even now, no matter how much your pain tries to douse it, I've helped you, sure, but you're still here with your amazing plans you're working toward! That... that's what matters. Again, I can't make you feel otherwise, but I damn well want to set you on the path to finding your own way! Not just for my sake, but for everyone you want to help yourself. Most of all, for yours. All right, I'll try, damn it. Thank you. Thank you so much.
So, so you love everyone that you support, huh? What if I told you that you were loved back in a certain way? <laughs> Perfect time to drop that, huh? I can tell you've been feeling that way. Just... And I can tell now that the feeling's mutual. You got me there. <laughs> Just know that I don't take such defeats so lightly. Ellie. You're on. Nearly done, nearly done. Just the hardware part, though. Probably still need to figure out the firmware, but... should work, but just on a broad scale. That footstool would throw a whole damn shit bit if I didn't narrow things down more. Nonetheless... Thing. This is just a small step, but it's going to go a long way. Paving a way to crush those genophil nuisances. A small and noticeable spark at first that erupts into the grandest hellfire the world has ever known. So proclaims Luke Chris Godwin! may joke about me overthrowing him, but I damn well know he's afraid. Sure, it'll give him a few cheers down the road, but he set himself up as my footstool. It's already comfortable. Now then. take you on a little test run. Sweet. Jesus. 